in the early stage of my career i used to get compliments for my looks for my dimples for my hairstyle and everything but slowly slowly people started appreciating my acting capabilities as well it's it's not never a choice for the tv actors you know mm-hmm. there are certain kind of characters you you get approached for do you feel it uh, has somewhere taken time also okay it's your choice also mm-hmm. but it has also been because of the label of a tv actor that comes because people then confine you to a zone to a, when you try to switch mediums be it films be it ott or any other always yeah i and i always had a problem of me being called a tv actor hmm. why a medium cannot define an actor you know they were considering me for certain kind of characters but they when they thought okay i've been too exposed hmm. uh, among audience being a tv actor i'm very proud where i come from somebody was asking me about the lady luck and all hmm. and i think whatever i'm today i think yeah. uh, uh, there's a big 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 hand of winning uh, for that and i think uh, she's the one mm. who's responsible for me for being the kind of man i am today and i just wanted to be a father that time yeah i that was the only place i wanted to be at mm. that is the only thing i wanted to be a father or still like that i mean abhi bhi sab khatam hota hai i wrap up my schedule i run i am waiting for this day the best part about him he keeps uh, you know noticing me how i do my hair how i you know style myself and everything he's noticing nowadays and when he's telling me okay he's going to be like you uh, i can't tell you how much waiting patience and uh, a lot of efforts have gone into making this interview happen but i'm finally glad that after four and a half years of waiting <laughs> it is finally happening yes you heard it right it's four and a half years of waiting but finally i'm getting my first solo interview with dheeraj dupar he has been a charmer he has been stealing hearts ever since he has set put on the screen he has been doing that effortlessly and uh, he's going to do much more than that because now he's a con man as well sorry not a con man he's a tatlu baz as well and uh, he's making his ott debut with the show and i'm sure it's going to blow everyone away because he does it every time so let's welcome as i am joined by dheeraj dupar for a conversation only on bollywood bubble so firstly welcome thank you thank you so much and dheeraj firstly ott debut yeah. tatlu baz firstly what was the reaction when you heard the term tatlu I have to ask. I'm asking this everyone because this is a term I even I didn't know before, and I come from the north. Huh. So somehow it sounded fun, yeah. I mean, when I met the team first and they narrated me the, the whole thing, and then they said the show is called Tatlu Baz. Mm. I was, I mean, but Tatlu Baz. So I said Tatlu Banana. Mm. I said, but but I heard the story first. So they said Konna. So uh, the name is so catchy and it sounded so fun. I said, okay, I'm. I mean, when I heard the story, when I heard the character, when Vibhu told me that this is the character and he's gonna do this, this in the show, and I was super excited. I said, okay. So Sherdil Sherdil got over, and within within forty five days, I got a call for the meeting for this show, uh-huh. and um, so I've been meeting people for the OTT earlier also. But when this came to me, and when I was uh, reading the scripts, I was getting narrated about the whole thing. I got super excited and I could visualize myself doing this show, mm. playing this character. Yeah. I have never done something like this in my entire career. I mean, it's been almost seventeen, eighteen years yeah. of being an actor, but never did something like this. And con man, different get ups, exactly. getting out of your comfort zone. I was speaking to someone and I was telling them, okay, uh, Vibhu, पहली चीज मुझे Vibhu ने बोली थी that no hairstyle. So uh, he uh-huh. said, "You come from a TV background, and I know mm-hmm. that you know you, you have a big name there, and you are known for certain things for your hair styling, for your styling in the shows and all. And in Hindi TV shows, uh, hero has a kind of a definition with the slow motion shots entering and all. But tatlu baz bulbul tyagi is not that. Mm-hmm. Bulbul tyagi has to be the part of the crowd. You have to look like one of the uh, one of the common. common man. And that's what I did. I mean." so that was kind of a challenging for me to come out of that comfort zone and doing something like this but i'm getting great reviews yeah and, and i know because uh, till now we have seen you as the adarsh beta or the yeah. heart throb <laughs> or maybe the uh, still confident man and everything but this is very rooted character yes. and i think it's the first time you are also doing it but since you're playing a con man has it ever happened that anyone has conned you in life be it professionally be it personally be it career wise any main na main बहुत हॉलीवुड फिल्म्स देखता हूँ आई आई वॉच अलॉट ऑफ हॉलीवुड फिल्म्स फ्रॉम द वेरी बिग नाइन एंड माय माइंड इज हाइपर एक्टिव आई एम वेरी अलर्ट ऑफ अबाउट अबाउट माय सराउंडिंग्स सो ऐसा कभी हुआ नहीं क्योंकि इफ इन दिस रूम दर टेन पीपल्स आई नो वॉट हुज डूइंग वॉट 
I'm always aware of my surroundings. I am getting conned. I think it's not possible. It's not easy. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's not let's easy. not say possible. Let's not jinx <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, jinx it. So uh, I think that's the thing. And uh, I'm always aware of my surroundings. Mm. I'm always alert. So that's not the thing. But acha, you know, I'm getting uh, now insights of being a con yeah. man. Ki kaise hota hai sab kuch? Mm. I'm more alert now. Uh, but uh, on a serious note, like has it ever happened? Uh, an opportunity came to you and. Somehow things didn't work in a way that you felt like it was a conned opportunity for you. In my career? Yeah. Not really. Oh. I mean, uh, I've been lucky enough that uh, I got calls also for, for very good projects and mm -hmm. very genuine projects. Yeah. Uh, never. I mean, uh, whoever I worked with, whatever kind of shows I did, mm -hmm. I worked with the greatest producers in the industries yeah. and biggest producers in the industry. And uh, getting conned from them, I think, uh, and getting conned calls from them, I think that it's not possible. Yeah. True, uh, but uh, there's one thing that is sticks uh, sticks out about your career is that when we talk about TV actors, na, uh, what happens with them is because you play a character for a long time, people start associating them with you. You have not had that problem in a way that audience has accepted you in every character that you've done. Because when we talk about your successful shows, mm -hmm. people can't say just one. Mm -hmm. There are many mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And that kind of speaks about how accepting the audience has been for you. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that acceptance while it was coming from the audience, from the industry, was it coming on? That acceptance that, okay, you can come out Definitely, of it. Definitely, yeah, it was coming within the industry also. That's why I was getting back-to-back -back shows and touch wood and I was getting good work and I was getting opportunity to work with good producers, good creative directors. Yeah. And uh, in the early stage of my career, I used to get the compliments for my looks, for my dimples, for my hairstyle and everything. But slowly, slowly people started appreciating my acting capabilities as well. And I started getting compliments for my acting capabilities, which I'm very happy about because yeah. I wanted to, uh, I worked very hard on my craft. Yeah. Still I do. I mean, I'm not the one if I'm getting some, uh, if I'm playing some character for certain years and if I'm going on the set, I'm never uh, not prepared. Mm. I'm always prepared about my character what, with the lines, with everything what I'm going to do on the set today. Mm. So uh, I believe that, you know, I got a lot of acceptance because I uh, kept in touch mm. with everybody. And secondly, mm. I was working on my craft continuously and it was kind of an attempt to uh, uh, break through through mm. different characters I played on screen. Mm. Uh, I somehow uh, selecting the, uh, it, it's not never a choice for the TV actors, you know, mm. there are certain kind of characters you, you get approached for. But for me, I was lucky that I got to play a cricketer. I got yeah. to play a, a stand-up comedian, a business <coughs> tycoon. Recently, I was mm. playing a totally yeah. uh, gracious character. Yeah. So if you see my graph, it's- Yeah, really you have good. actually yeah. been yeah. lucky enough to have got those opportunities. Yeah. But like, as you said, you've been here for a while yeah. working and this is your OTT debut yeah. and uh, this is new waters for you as well. And uh, do you feel it uh, has somewhere taken time also? Okay, it's your choice also, mm -hmm. but it has also been because of the label of a TV actor that comes because people then confine you to a zone. To, uh, when you try to switch mediums, be it films, be it OTT or any other. Always, yeah. I, and I always had a problem of me being called a TV actor. Mm -hmm. Why? A medium cannot define an actor. True. I mean, I'm just an actor who wants to be the part of all the mediums simultaneously. I want to do films, I want to do OTT, I want to do music albums, I want to do TV, everything. I mean, I'm not demeaning anything. Uh, TV has always been my first love and will always be my first love. But uh, And I always wanted to switch over to different medium, not just for the sake of it. I want to switch over and I wanted to do as good as what I was doing on TV. So I think that took a little longer for me. but. Uh, Yes, there is. When uh, when people call me, uh, you know, they were considering me for certain kind of characters. But the, when they thought, okay, I've been too exposed mm. uh, among audience being a TV actor, then I felt bad. I mean, yeah. why not? I mean, uh, being exposed, I think it's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, people know you. Your I reach mean, is higher. Recently, I went to Leh Ladakh to the <laughs> remotest area. Yeah. I was at China border somewhere. And from that village, people are calling me by my character yeah. name. That's the reach of TV. Yeah. I mean, we have the vast audience and TV is not going anywhere, I mean. And I'm very proud. I'm very proud where I come from. I'm very proud what I've done in my career. And uh, uh, after the shoot of Tatlubas, I sent Sobhagivati Baba too. So I was not, okay, I'm doing now Tatlubas, which is an OTT project, which is my OTT debut. No, I did TV after that. Yeah. Now, you know, so I want to be the part of all the mediums simultaneously. Yeah. I want to do TV, I want to do OTT, as I said. Uh, I want to create a space for myself as an actor where I am the part of all the mediums. Hmm. 
so you offer me anything if i like the character if i like the script i want to be the part of it yeah, and talking about this project na like you are getting to share screen with such two amazing ladies yeah. <laughs> like uh, they just Fun. light up the screen by just their presence firstly how was it being in the company were you a little uh, in awe of their beauty when you first saw them so um, i still remember that day uh, we were reading in the uh, we were having a <laughs> reading session uh, in the office and uh, the production office and then i got to know who's playing disha and who's playing isabel <laughs> So uh, Isabel, uh, I got to know later in the stage, and uh, I was told Nargis is playing, mm -hmm. and they said she, she's coming. Uh, I said where from? She said she's mm -hmm. coming from. She was I think in Dubai that time, and she was flying down to from Dubai, and she came to the office directly from the airport, and she was like, okay, 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 tell me what to do, and you know Nargis being Nargis, mm -hmm. and she's very hardworking. Let me tell you, one of the most hardworking girl I've ever met, and uh, I mean because the, the language is not so good. Uh, she was always there rehearsing her lines in the vanity coming on the set prepared mm. so that is nargis for you i mean i still i mean she's working so hard about everything and divya yeah. she is fun she's my buddy ah. i mean uh, and i had great fun with both of them maza aaya yeah. mujhe kaam karke and uh, especially zishan also yaar yeah. zishan khadri he is like a elder brother to me and mm. उनकी जो लैंग्वेज है ना ही इज़ राइटर हिमसेल्फ सो वो जैसे yeah. बात करते हैं जिस तरीके से उनकी मौज मस्ती आई थिंक वेट अ ग्रेट टीम एंड हम लोग का सारा आउटडोर शूट था सो वेन आई वॉज नॉट शूटिंग विद बोथ ऑफ दम आई वॉज शूटिंग विद ईशान सो दीज टू गर्ल्स वॉर नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ आर राय बरेली शेड्यूल देन ईशान वॉज विद मी and then uh -huh. these girls were with me zishan was in there oh, so there was someone to keep you company but on vinny's reaction on seeing you being in this frame super happy yeah huh? she is super excited and super proud of me she said you know uh i mean uh, i'll tell you uh, somebody was asking me about the lady luck and all mm. and i think whatever i am today i think yeah. uh, uh, there's a big 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 hand of vinny uh, for that and i think uh, she's the one mm. who's responsible for me for being the kind of man i am today yeah. you know uh, i think uh, if you get a good partner in life now mm. i think uh, that changes you as a person mm. and that that's what happens to me happened mm. to me and uh, i mean she's kind of a backbone yeah, you know she, and she's very happy she's excited and abhi tak unhone dekha nahi hai kuch bhi for a surprise for her as yeah, well as well so maine kuch bataya bhi nahi hai i wanted to see her first uh, you know uh, kaisa excitement mm. hoga kaise expressions honge about watching it for the first time so we are going to watch it together yeah so dekhte hain let's see uh, but how life turned upside down after the newest edition in the family are you superb yeah that's the best thing can happen to you and uh, you know uh, when uh, zain came in uh, sure. and hua kya i was doing jhalak uh, dikhlaja that time mm. i was doing share dil share dil that time mm. when he was pregnant and uh, those were like i was telling you the yeah. longest days and True. दिन खत्म ही नहीं होता था एंड आई वॉज सो मैं अगर झलक की रिहर्सल कर रहा हूँ आई वॉन्टेड टू गेट बैक टू वेनी वेनी के पास रहता हूँ आई हैड टू गो बैक टू शेडल शेडल शूट सो मैनी थिंग्स फॉर हैपनिंग एट सिंगल पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट ही के एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू बी अ फादर दैट टाइम आई दैट वॉज द ओनली प्लेस आई वॉन्टेड टू बी एट दैट इज द ओनली थिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू बी अ फादर और स्टिल लाइक दैट आई मीन अभी भी सब खत्म होता है आई रैप अप माई शेड्यूल आई वन हो I want to be with him. I want to play with him because that's kind of a stress buster yeah. for you. Yeah, and I'm sure it must become difficult to leave home now. Yeah, yeah. Because just seeing that face. वो नीचे आके daily see off करना कार पे that is the daily thing for us. Uh, like, uh, what was the first time you kind of uh, it hit you that now you are a father? What was the first moment like? I think from the very first time I saw him, I mean in the hospital and. I was very, I'm a very emotional guy. Mm. You know, I cry a lot. I'm a very emotional guy. You know, 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 I'm a very he keeps uh, you know noticing me how i do my hair how i you know style myself and everything he's noticing nowadays and when he's telling me okay he's going to be like you and i'm super happy after listening to that thing because you know he, it's so a victory yeah yeah and yeah, trust me he's just 15 months and he keeps looking at me hmm. he keeps noticing me that what i'm doing with my jacket hmm. i'm wearing the watch how i'm making my hair everything he notices 
Yeah. And this generation, I tell you, man, they're they are they're super, super smart. smart. They're yeah. super smart. Yeah, yeah. Before I close, I just wanted to ask that you mentioned uh, that you are an actor, you want to work on all mediums. And now OTT has happened. Is there a next step towards films also happening? Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Uh, I think all of us who comes to Mumbai to become an actor mm. has a dream of coming mm. on the big screen. Yeah. I'm also one of them. And uh, touch wood, you you might see me sooner or later. I mean ah, sooner. So I mean, the talks are on. Nothing, brewing. nothing is concrete as yet, but yeah. we will announce soon. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure you're gonna do wonders there as well. Thank as you, so you have been doing all this while. It was a long due conversation, and I wish it could have been much much longer. But uh, we will do that soon. Please enough, I'm sure. And uh, uh, hopefully we will have Vinny and you together yes, as well. Yes. And we will do something great. But thank you so much thank for you. this thank opportunity. So Wishing you. you lots of love and luck for Tatlubas and everything you. You, that you do. You are doing great. And uh, thank you. give my love and regards to uh, Vinny as well as Zen. Like, he's the most beautiful person out thank there, you. I have thank to say. You. Thank, thank you so much and you so hope much. you had a good time. Thank you. I had great thank fun. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi guys, this is Dheeraj Dhupar and you're watching me on Bollywood Papa. Thank you.